what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk so a lot of you guys have been sending me some information about this particular lady who is suing a man of ten thousand dollars over a bad first date now obviously i get criticized for you know looking at a story and if it's not true reporting on it and that is exactly what i thought this was i was like listen there's no way that no woman sued a man for ten thousand dollars over a bad first date it doesn't make any sense there's no way in hell i'm going to talk about this until it comes out that it is actually true now um I want to say that a lot of these things you see down are like skits and some of these people are acting and things like that. Uh, but this is not, <laughs> this is not a skit. Um, you have a Michigan woman by the name of Quashante Hosomala Short Brundage. <sighs> Try saying that five times. She is a lady that sued a brother for a bad first date. Okay. Um, now she ended up in uh, the Honorable Judge Herman Marable uh, 67th district court with the guy that she's suing by the name of Mr. Richard Jordan. Now guys, I'm, I'm going to play just the first few minutes of the interaction between her and the judge. And guys, the disrespect is awesome at best. Um, now keep in mind, this is an African-American male judge that she's talking to. And I wanted to see how disrespectful and rude lady is and we'll come back i'm looking here you know what is it intentional affliction of emotional distress yes is that the claim here? yes okay. it is that's that's not something that's really justiciable in in district court i'm sorry what do you, i can't hear you i said that's not something that's justiciable in in, in district court that has to be uh, brought in circuit court so you said it's not permissible in district court. It has to be um, taken to circuit court. That's an equitable action. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mr. Jordan, let me just ask you this. Are you planning to uh, represent yourself on this? Uh, I, I, to be honest with you, sir, I, I, I thought this was just going to be thrown out. Uh, it was we had a date one date and nothing else after that and now i'm being sued for ten thousand dollars it was i don't see how this is going to go any further i think it's a waste of your time the problem is this you know if you think it should be dismissed you know you need to file the appropriate motion you need to file a motion to ask for that a letter in that letter he he lied and then that's what brought forth the perjury. It was never perjury in the beginning. It was per perjury after his response. Well, you can't, you can't say, listen, he has, he has the right to put whatever is in the answer. I'm not saying he can't, but count. you can't do, you can't add another count because you don't like, or you disagree with what is in his answer. If he respond and his response is a lie, it's perjury, then my documents will prove that no, he lied no, and his no, response. No, 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 no. It's his version. First of all, do you understand what perjury is? Yes, I, I even understand perjury, what perjury is, is a is. lie. No, I know you don't. what perjury you don't. means. Perjury is a statement, a, a false statement made under oath. So exactly. what statement did he and make I got under documents oath? that prove he was lying. He you don't put, understand. He, what? He, it's a false he statement a made under oath. Under oath. What did lie. he testify to something that he lied about? It's he, a, statement made, a he, false statement made under oath. Bottom line is you said it's a criminal offense, so I will send it to circuit court. Are we done here? No, no, you don't you don't understand, ma'am. You don't Are understand. Are we done here? Are we done here? Perjury, perjury Are we done here? is I know exactly is what perjury a means. False I know exactly what perjury means. I know oath. what perjury means. Are we done no, here? No, you don't. Criminal offense or not? What statement? I don't see anything in the complaint that says he made some false statement under oath. 
So obviously, guys, this young lady, um, <laughs> she filed this particular case in the wrong court. And as you can see, she's proceeding to try to tell the judge what perjury is. Are we done here? Rude, obnoxious. And if you look at the rest of the video, she insists she will not drop the case even after filing in the wrong court. Now, the judge has to tell her, can you be quiet while I talk? Okay. And eventually a court employee has to mute her microphone and the judge has to finish the clip. All right. And um, now I just want to talk about this, guys. Obviously, this is something that is unique, but I, I feel sorry for some of you brothers out there. I really do. Because y'all are dealing with some foolishness in the dating market. And you think that she would have some respect for a black male that is a judge. But the reality is, I believe this is a, a, a lady who doesn't have respect for any black man. And I'm saying that because she had no respect for the judge, had no respect for the date. And there are going to be ladies in the black community uh, that you may come across that, you know, it doesn't really matter what your uh, achievements are. Some of them are not going to have no respect for that. And you're not going to be able to tell them anything. I think what guys are going to see is you're going to see this and say, oh, this is the reason why I'm not dealing with black women. I think that's bogus because you can find white people doing the same things and and you can find other groups doing the same things. But I just want you to know that you got to be careful out there. You have to be absolutely careful with who you are dealing with. I'm going to say it again. You need to be careful with who you are dealing with. All right. Now, I don't know what made this particular brother pursue a young lady like this in the first place. What made you want to talk to her? But again, this is why black men need to be very, very serious about raising your actual standards. All right. Because you can go out on a date with somebody and then you can get sued. Now, how do you sue somebody for $10,000 over a bad day? Uh, did the man do anything to you? Did he steal any money? Did he waste your time? And again, it, it, it appears that possibly this was a woman that wasn't interested in him in the first place. You know, there's another clip going around right now. I don't know how true it is and if it's real. It's like a lady that's mad because, you know, this dude won't pay for like all 18 of her friends to get into the club. And yeah, that is quite ridiculous. But this is what's going on right now, man. Um, it's real out here in the field. And a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot of entitlement. Guys really, really have to tread lightly from what you're dealing with. And I, I want you guys to really take it into serious consideration. Um, what kind of folks you're, you're trying to take out. All right. Because this is. It's absolutely ridiculous. Not only did she, she, did she embarrass herself, she was wrong in the wrong, guys. In the wrong. Still arguing. Pathetic. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, OCG Jackson. Back at it again. Another episode of Celebrity Day. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We out. Peace.